Okay. I have some interesting things to say. Someone just told me I was going to burn for that one. How do they know that I'm burning? Unless they're the ones burning me. And if they're not real, why did they just tell me I would burn for that one? Yeah. It's like Ricky said to Lucy. Lucy, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Mm-hmm. Explain that one to me, people. Somebody just made that comment. You're going to burn for that one. Now, did they mean it? Or what? Are they really doing that to me? And if they are, that's illegal. That is a felony. And they can be arrested for it. I want to know what's really going on. And I want to know why. Because that has to stop. It's getting ridiculous. People, we should have more rights than this. They should not be allowed to burn us at all. Period. We're Americans. We were here first. Not them. And we can drive them as far away as we want. Because I had one threat in my life. Saying, oh, should we kill her? I thought, yeah, right. And you're an immigrant saying that? I'm not kidding you. I'm serious. It was not my imagination. It was very real. Now, as far as I'm concerned, we're under siege as America. And we're under attack every single day. Because they've got these tools that they bought off the dark net. And they're using them. And they're illegal. Why is Trump allowing this if he's for America? If I'm supposed to enjoy the country I'm in and be okay with it, why are you allowing this, President Trump? I want to know why. Are you the biggest scam there is? Because you're not telling us the truth. You're not telling us what's really going on. You're not telling us why this is happening. That's what I want to know. I'm appealing to the President of the United States because I'm being burnt to death and I want to know why. Was that part of your plan when you attacked me in 2016 and stole my vote and life? Was that part of Mark Zuckerberg's plan when he bought a six billion dollar house? Yeah, people, I have a right to be mad, and so do you. He stole our votes, and then he bought a billion-dollar house. Where did he get the money to do it? And so quickly. And why did we lose everything we had? And why did so many widows get killed? At his expense. Is that billion dollar house worth it, Mark Zuckerberg? That's my qu other question to you. Yeah. I want a few people to think about their actions and about what they did and why and how. Because I'm tired of it. America's been under attack because America is trying to survive. And we're being ridiculed and fried out of our own houses. And that's not right. I want people to think. I want people to start working together and help each other. And I don't care if I burn for anything. I could care less. I've got the fire in me. And that's God. And believe me, people. 
God is more powerful than any fire. Not only that, God makes bigger stones than you do. And they're the size of houses. With a God like that, you can't throw stones at, at glass houses. And you can't throw a stone at my house. Because God makes the biggest stones there are. And God makes the biggest sense. As far as I'm concerned, with power like God, we need to be left alone. Because God is trying to show them and teach them a lesson that they cannot kill me, no matter what they do. That no matter what, I'm always going to be here. They can think about burning me all they want. And it doesn't matter to me. Because maybe I enjoy it. <laughs> maybe I enjoy being burnt. Because I'm so used to it. I've been burnt all my life. But not by tools. Just by this world. What's new? You tell me. Because people have been nasty to me all my life, so I'm used to it. I mean, I cleaned up stuff after my husband, and now they're throwing it at me. Oh yeah, I know what it's like to be burnt. I really do. And yeah, I'm sure they'll get this message, and I don't give a shit anymore. I really don't. I know God has all things in his hands, and God has the control. Not me. And God is much more in power than what they will ever know. They can throw all the radiation they want at me. But God's in control. Not them. And they're not God. Let's show them. As Americans, let's show them. Let's band together. Start protecting each other. Show them we care. Show them we want to help each other to survive an almost impossible situation. But we're going to survive and we're going to stay strong. You can't let them get you. You can't let them tear you down. And you can't let them destroy you. We are strong. We are all strong. In the eyes of God, in the arms of God, in the hands of God, we are strong together and united. United we stand, divided we fall. That's what we have to remember. This applies to all. Take care and God bless. Bye now.